This is how you beat Arena 8 in. No need to fear. Namsack is here. Guys, we have a new favorite deck, best deck, whatever you want to call it. This deck is phenomenal. What is going on? Defensive Goblin Barrel activate. Um, oh my gosh, we're gonna have to defend even more. Maybe the defensive Goblin Barrel was bad. What is going on? Give me some space to breathe, big guy. Okay, come on. <laughs> this is getting out of hand. You gotta be kidding me. All right, we'll go arrows on the right side. He plays archers to defend our minions and our hog rider. That's actually not gonna be that great. That's a lot of damage we just took. And not only that, one of our minions did take out one of his archers, so we're in a good spot. Where is he gonna play the card? He plays it at the bridge, of course. Of course he plays it at the spawn. The skeletons already. Okay, I'm not gonna be able to talk about this deck at all this game, just because I don't think this guy's gonna ever give us this moment to breathe. Okay, we're gonna go in with our goblin bear. This deck that we have is very similar to the deck that we showcased already before. Did I even need to zap? The only change we did was, I think before, what were we using instead of the... We were using something instead of the minion whore, or the minions. And I can't remember what we changed exactly. Maybe we can use the giant skeleton. Are the minions going to help out at all? No, that didn't really work out. I can't remember. I I'll have to double check what we changed for the minions. But then the wall breakers, the problem were they were a little bit under level for us. And if you have under level wall breakers, I found that the hog rider was a little bit more consistent as a win condition. It was, it's able to get on tower. You're able to play it behind your giant skeleton. And it could be a really hard combo. Why is this mini pack on our tower? Wait, what? What just happened? Uh, he went into the witch with his royal hogs, which was a really bad play i'm gonna zap hopefully we can get all the skeletons here we did miss two but we have minions and witch on the left side we have a prince that he still has to deal with on the right side it looks like that's gonna at least be one tower maybe we'll be able to take another one we still have the witch alive we have minions alive we have double prince and now we're gonna go with the goblin barrel and maybe we can steal this three crown five four three don't do this no we should have predicted arrows this deck is elite sure people could say like in this in this game it's like ah, it didn't look that good just you wait this deck i don't even think i'm gonna show the other decks this deck is just so much better um okay we already have to choose between the ice spirit and the snowball and here i am going to choose i think i'm gonna go snowball i think i'm gonna go snowball i can already think of a couple of decks we can actually incorporate snowball potentially in this deck ice spirit is really good snowball is really good i'm gonna choose snowball though snowball and you should too another reason why i really like this deck and part of the reason why i used the cards that i used in this deck were because a lot of these cards for example ooh, let's zap the skeleton army asap whoa okay never mind that's not gonna be great uh what firecracker i'm so confused uh i'm gonna have to leave the firecracker we don't have enough elixir to de defend both okay never mind we're gonna have to use arrows late on these goblins and it looks like we were able to defend we got a little bit of damage kind of close i didn't like that start what just happened there i feel like i passed out for a second oh, 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 oh i'm liking that giant skeleton on tower one shot two shot that's not even the worst of it the worst is when the bomb comes bu -bu -bu wait did he play something Wait, what? I don't want to overcommit here, but I want to support this witch just because, ooh, now I don't want to support this witch. Now, going into a witch is a death sentence. I'm going to add this as a tip. I didn't think I was going to make this as a tip. Is Try not to go into a witch. It seems like it's always a bad decision. Breaking through a witch, if you don't have sufficient spells or a big enough push, it, it, it's hard to take the dude, the, the, the late, the old lady. Uh, am I disrespecting the witch calling her an old lady? We are Namsack, so hee hee ha. I, I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't. Okay, Prince, what are you doing? that tower what are you doing okay mega knight is this our first time playing mega knight okay this is this is one of the cards that is 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 known in mid ladder as the mid ladder menace and ooh, it does get on our tower now with that log great log by our opponent so he has two legendary cards but here we know he has to defend this giant skeleton so let's go in on this left side so giant skeleton is gonna be taken out death ball it doesn't matter the bombs are gonna be able to help out with these skeletons we're gonna get hog rider on tower we're gonna go goblin goblin barrel on tower as well bye bye tower that was very very easy Ooh, let's protect this witch a little bit the hog rider and the goblin barrel i find pair a little bit better than the wall breakers and the uh, goblin barrel just because a lot of times your opponent we saw it last time we were using it our opponent could just use arrows and it'll take out our goblin barrel and our wall breakers where now they kind of have to pick and choose oh my gosh um, we are in a great spot right now. Let's go. Sue, do we go for two two crowns, three crowns, all the crowns? I'm going to zap here. It does look like our prince goes down. We still have a hog rider alive. We have a minion alive. I don't think that's going to do anything. This guy has a mega knight. He had the log. He has the legendary cards. He has over level cards, but it's no match for Namsack, the giant skeleton. <laughs> I got myself 
do iron. Yeah. Epic chest. We have four epics in our deck. The odds of us, ooh, lightning. It's fine. We're probably not going to use it right now. Come on, give us Prince. I'll take it. I'll take it. Prince, what else? A, a, a giant. Okay, no, we don't need. Our pack is almost level nine. I feel like it's a sin to not be using that card. But in the next arena video, he's making an appearance. I, I'll tell you guys right now. 12 baby dragons. We don't even use baby dragon. Should we? Instead of minions? No. Maybe? <laughs> Maybe? The reason I like this version of this deck is a lot of the cards are unlocked very early in the game. For example, arrows and minions. Literally in the, not even the first arena, training camp. And then you unlock the giant skeleton in Pekka's Playhouse. You unlock the witch in Spell Valley, same as the, the hog rider in the zap. And then the goblin barrel is in the goblin stadium. So in the first four arenas, most of these cards you get. So that means hopefully these cards, you'll have the most highest level. And we see how important levels are in Clash Royale. And that's why... I think that's why this deck is working so well. You try, try to, try to use the cards that you have that are highest level. It's very important. So let's just defend with our our, our hog rider. It's gonna be able to pull the skeletons back and then also go in with the goblin barrel. Does he have a spell to deal with these goblins? Hog rider gets on tower. Level seven hog now uses arrows. Uses arrows late. So right now we're going up a player that is level ten card. We've won the game already. And what did we do? We just defended, then attacked. It's all about elixir management. In Clash Royale, it's all about elixir management. And if you do not have elixir, that's what happens. You use your cards late. You do not have the right answers at the right time. I think we're just going to go arrows. Arrows on defense, as long as it takes out this, these archers, which it doesn't. Whoa, 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 whoa. What is going on? What is going on? Oh, no, because now all he has to do is go skeleton army. We're so far behind, and it's all because our cards just don't deal enough damage. Here, I'm going to see if we can kind of go in here. I'm going to go with the the big kahuna we're gonna go with the goblin barrel we're gonna go with the everything we're gonna go with arrows hopefully these arrows can take out stuff wow that valkyrie is gonna get a lot of value that was a lot of elixir we just used and this could be very 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 bad we're gonna go with the giant skeleton hopefully we'll be able to take out some of these things oh my gosh we're gonna lose our first game we're 100 gonna lose our first game Oh my gosh, please. Okay, there's a chance. It's not over yet. How do we win this? Ah, Namsack, use your all your brain power. I just don't know. He's probably gonna use Princess at the bridge. No, he does not. Okay, he's going Princess on the bridge on the opposite lane. Interesting. So here, what do we want to use? I think we can just go with our arrows. Let's just go with our arrows. Let's reset. Our witch goes down? You know what? Let's just go in on the left side. Get ready for that skeleton army. We know it's coming. We know it's coming. There it is. Get it quick. Oh, no. He has zap. Okay, we do get one shot. That's good. We don't get the second shot. We're in a pick. No, that was what I was scared of. That's what I was scared of. No, 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 no. Okay, we should be fine. We should be fine. We should be fine. We should be fine. Our, how does our witch already die? How does it already die? How does it already die? Giant skeleton. It's down in time. It's down. It's down. It's down. It's down. It's down. It's down. Uh-oh. We're, we're in trouble. 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 Arrows come in. Maybe he doesn't have arrows on defense. No, he does. Okay. We got that. That's good. We got the princess at least. That's huge. Okay. This isn't going to be good enough. This isn't going to be good enough. This isn't going to be good enough. Oh, no. We're in danger. Oh, no. We're in so much danger. Oh, my gosh. Are we going to be able to win? He goes with the door. Where's the princess? We know the princess is going to come. The princess. We won. Of course we did. We're in a circ. Over level cards. Poo poo. Wow. We should have lost that game, but we never lose. He, 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 ha. Here, we do have a lot of options. This giant skeleton is very, very healthy. I think we have a little bit of an elixir lead, so we can do a couple of things here. I think it's going to be as simple as just minions on this right side to help support this giant skeleton. Ooh, I don't love that. I'm okay with going in with the hog rider here. It's going to be able to defend this. Okay, never mind. It does not defend the witch. The witch is about to die. Uh-oh, we're in danger. Log gets so much value, and oh gosh, we just used our witch, and we have to defend this Pekka somehow. We're in so much danger. <laughs> we're in so much danger. Okay, we gave a little bit too much value. I think we've lost. I think we've lost. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. We've lost. We've lost. We've lost. We've lost. We've lost. It's over. It's over. We can't stop this. We we went a little too aggressive, and that's exactly... I think there's a little bit of a learning right there. We went in with the Hog Rider, and we went in with the Goblin Barrel. We should have just did one. We shouldn't have done both. We should have just went in with one. We should have went with either the Hog Rider or the Goblin Barrel. Using both, we saw it. Our opponent was able to defend very, very cleanly, build up a counter push, and that counter push was something that we could not financially recover from, sadly. We don't really have a great way to deal with these Pekkas. These Pekkas are getting a ton of value. Uh-oh. We're going to go with Zap on defense here, and I don't even think that's going to be enough this packa is getting a ton of value every single time it's played this packa gets value 
after that last game, I'm so disappointed that this is the game that we lose. Is there something that we can change in this deck to help against the Pekkas? You know what? Hee-ha! I'm never gonna say good game. Poo-poo. There it is. Nam sacks first. It's because we had the hat forwards! I... I... It's th that wasn't Namsack, that was Cash. Now we're back, baby. That's why we lost. It was because the hat was forwards. Duh. Ugh. Idiots. Why the heck was Namsack in the back seat there? We gotta pull out the big guns. We're pulling out the legendary card. We're pulling out the log. I know people are gonna say, yo, Cash, but I don't have the log. It doesn't matter. It's getting kind of difficult with these underlevel cards. It's getting a little bit harder to just a little bit. Just for Nam Cash Man, he sucks. He couldn't even he couldn't he lost so easily. Namsack, we've never lost. Na Namsack's never gonna never gonna lose. <laughs> yeah, it's 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 getting a little bit uh tr more tricky to win in Clash Royale because people are able to get so many resources so early on, over level their cards and going up against over level cards. We've seen a lot of the interactions gets a little kind of crazy. Let's go in with the Goblin Barrel. We know, doesn't, we know he has Snowball and he goes with the early Snowball and he goes with the arrows. That means he does not have an answer right now to this witch. Maybe this Hog Rider gets in front of this witch and now this is going to be kind of awkward to deal with. I'm going to go with the late arrows. Maybe we can get a little bit more damage and that should be fine. Left side tower isn't going to go down, but it's pretty dang close to be going down. Here, I'm so scared for these wall breakers. I knew this was coming. I'm going to go with the log and oh, the log, because it's over leveled, it's able to take out the wall breakers. Yeah, we should probably just do that every single time here we'll go with the goblin barrel and we'll go with the the log just because we know our opponent has the skeleton army he goes with his arrows on defense and that's probably not gonna be enough to win we get a little bit of damage from the splash damage of the witch and then we'll just go arrows we'll win this game on to the next one nam sack he 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 ha this decision is crucial if you have you have to choose between the freeze and the lightning and yes i think lightning might be better if you ask anybody in clash rail what card's better i think a lot of people would say lightning for the purpose of these videos arena nine we might be using the free we are going to be using the freeze i already have a deck made up i have an idea for a very very good deck for under level players and that is why you're kicking the freeze click the freeze make sure you click the freeze because if you don't you'll never pass arena nine okay you might be you'll be fine don't worry there'll be other decks give us a legendary <gasps> oh! <laughs> Oh, it's a wild card, which is good, which is good. It, it would be better if we had more legendaries just because then we can actually use the wild card. I think we save it for the next legendary. Is that dumb? I don't know. Let me know in the comments. Should we use the legendary on the log or should we just wait? I think right now, just go with the hog rider. Let's go with our hog rider. Let's see if we can get a little bit of damage. Our opponent's going to have to defend it or just go with the hog. Stop copying us. Stop copying us. Listen, I know we're the best. He's not going to defend the hog rider. Okay. You know what? Everybody has their own decision. Expo? Okay, I told you guys to never play Expo. We now have to crush this man because Expo is awful. I hate Expo so very much. And here, with the cards that we have in our hand... Oh my gosh, Giant Skeleton's gonna get on tower. One shot. It was able to take out a 6 Elixir Expo. It was able to take out a Hog Rider, which is 4 Elixir. Also a 6 Elixir Expo, and also almost take out a left side tower. That stonks. That is, that's the definition of stonks. I think the minions are actually going to get in front of the Valkyrie. So we do not have to use our arrows here. I'm just going to go with Prince, and hopefully that's enough. That Valkyrie is level 9, but the Prince should be enough. Also, the minion maybe gets on tower. One shot, maybe two. Two shots. You know what? I could take it. Look at his left side tower. Look at his right side tower. Look at our towers. Yeah, we're in a pretty good situation. I'm not worried. I think we just go Hog Rider opposite lane. Because we don't want to play too many cards in the same lane. We'll go with arrows here. We're going to be able to get the skeleton army and the minions. Hog Rider does not have enough elixir to deal with this Hog Rider. Hog Rider is going to take that right side tower. And all we have to do now is focus on defense. And we will be able to win this game. And if he overcommits, maybe we'll be able to counter push on this left side. And we'll be able to get two crowns, which gets us closer to our pass rail. Also puts the Hog Rider in front of his Valkyrie this time. Not... Oh! He picked the freeze! This guy knows! I'm going to use the log just to push it back to try to mitigate as much damage as possible. We're going to go with the Prince in front. And I was that was well well played, good sir. Well played. I'm just going to go all defense here. Does he go with another freeze? No, he does not. Okay, so he goes very aggressive with seven seconds left. Sadly, I don't think we're going to be able to take this left side tower. He goes with Skeleton Army down low and goblins. Well played.
I thought that game, okay, it was an absolute slaughter. Namsag has another victim, another another name to check off. The last game of Frozen Peak Arena 8, Namsag, we are undefeated. Cashman, he did lose one game. He sucks at Clash Rail. Tell him I said that. Usually in these last games, we've played against really bad players. <laughs> okay, and the, the trend continues. Minions at the bridge, first play. Don't do that. Don't play units at the bridge, guys. We know this. You guys know this. You're better than this. I'm just going to go with the Goblin Barrel here. We're going to be able to get maybe deal a little bit of damage. And then also we can just... I was hoping to maybe... If he used a card like Skelt Army to defend that Goblin Barrel, that means our Witch would have been able to... Did he just use a Lightning on our Witch? So in this situation, we got to make sure we don't give too much Lightning value. Lightning, when you use Lightning, it deals damage to three units. But the three units that are chosen are the ones with the highest health. So our Witch is very vulnerable. And also cards like... Ah, this is not good. Uh, cards like maybe the prince is a little bit more vulnerable. The hog rider could be a little bit more vulnerable, but that's more or less it. Here, do we just want to take the damage that we're going to get from these minions and then just reset? I think that's the smartest play right now. Let's just relax. Let's take this little bit of damage that the minions are going to deal. Yo, that was way more damage than I expected. Those, did those minions deal, what, 400 damage? Uh-oh, we're in danger. Oh no, we're in danger. The wall breakers are going to get on tower. Both of them get on tower! Oh, no, no, no. He just used his mini P.E.K.K.A. though. So what if we go with a Goblin Barrel and then an Arrows because we know he has Skeleton Army. He goes Skeleton Army low though, but he has nothing for our Goblins. Goblins on tower and that's going to be the end of Dennis and the end of Arena 8. Namsack, Dennis Petrov. Welcome to Namsack Foodland. Population you. Show me Arena 9. Let's see how Jungle Arena compares to Frozen Peak because if history repeats itself, Jungle Arena doesn't have a chance. Namsack, I'll be back. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you enjoyed this video, feel free to check out this video over here. It's our newest video. I'll see you in that video. Subscribe! Deuces. Better decks, better cards, better plays, better interactions, better, better, better profile, better, better star points, better, better, better everything.